It's a big beer jug. But we're going to make a pitcher. All right. So I've got the wheel spinning a little slowly now. I'm actually going to increase the speed. Uh, I wanted you in profile so that you can see what all my hands are doing. So you can see as the, pro as the shape, the form of the pot takes place or, or comes into being, you can actually see it from the side. Now you can see I'm actually a little off center here on the rim. I really am. I'm a little rusty. Um, if we had started off center, I would be very off center on the rim. So always center your clay. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I want to get rid of all these process lines. These are what I call incidental marks. I love process lines, but they should be purposeful, not accidental. Or if you're going to have them from the actual process, they should be a little bit toothier, I think, right? They should have a little bit more oomph to them. Those were kind of neither here nor there. They were kind of in the middle. They were lukewarm. It's my favorite joke. What's the internal temperature of a tauntaun? Lukewarm. Right. So there we go. So we've got the incidental marks cleaned off of it. Um, if you like those process lines, by all means, uh, leave them, embellish them, but, but you know, you know, make them more than just like an oopsie. Right. I'm going to close it up just a little bit and leave a little bit of flare to it at the very, very top. All right. A little bit more. I like pictures to have a little bit of a throat, right? This section right here where it tapers in, a little bit of a throat. I'm going to widen it out at the bottom here. with a little bit of a belly. There we go. And we're just gonna go ahead and clean any of that schmutz up. So we've got a little belly, we started our little throat. There we go. He's starting to take shape. What a concept, right? I'm gonna tighten the throat up just a little bit more. Now you notice I didn't use a lot of water when I went into the inside this last go around. It's because I knew I was going to tighten this up. And if I had a lot of water down in there, it would actually be harder to get it out. So I barely hydrated my hand. Now, when you compress clay like this, you actually have a chance to stretch it out a little bit. See that and get a little bit more height. Because you're taking what was taking, you're taking the amount of clay that was filling in six inches in diameter and putting it in like three or four. So you're basically ending up with twice as much clay in that diameter. Maybe, actually, mathematicians, I think it's a little more than that, honestly. So now if I actually did want to do process lines, this would be a perfect part to, a perfect place to work them in. And if ifs were fifths, I've got another idea for this guy, so he needs to be nice and smooth. So I'm just taking a soft rib here um, and just pulling all the incidental lines off of him. There we go. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to take a clay knife or, yeah, it's that wooden tool that you get in your kits, right? Clay knife. And I'm going to clean up the base here. It's called the foot. And I'm just going to clean the excess clay off of it. I do want it to have a little bit of a flange, though. Uh, I actually like the little flangey feet. So I'm not going to clean all the clay off of it. Just a fair amount. And to do that, what I'm doing is I'm taking it and I'm sliding it underneath the edge, right? sliding it under the edge, it's kicking the clay up, and then I'm taking, turning it, holding it like a pencil, and cutting away the side here. Right. 
there we go. And then I'm going to take the butt end of it here and just define that foot nicely. Give it a little bit of a hard line, right? There we go. So we have the beginnings of a decent little pitcher, right? Or a really good beer mug. Okay, pitcher, good beer mug, right? There we go. Now, for me, um, I'm going to leave it like that. And we're going to come back and work on it here in a little bit. Um, there we go. So that's throwing. That's throwing a cylinder. Um, we'll also be throwing bowls. So stay tuned.